Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, creative crawling titles. Crawling titles are used a lot of times for a ticker that runs across the bottom of the screen or any time you need to move text from left to right. A uh, couple of things that I want to show you is creating creating a title that isn't too large because if it's a little ticker, it doesn't have to be big, but also how to use creative backgrounds behind those tickers. Let's go have a look. Okay, so <clears throat> here I am in this uh, little tropical storms report and what you'll see behind the type here is uh, if I just turn this All right, turn that type off. You'll see that I've got textures down there in the background and, and I'm actually using rampant design tools textures uh, in behind. Um, and I actually, I'll show you, I'm working with those in a second, but they're a separate sequence nested into a sequence with multiple layers so I can easily flip through all of these different textures at any time. But let's get that crawling title on first. So, down in my uh, project bin, the easiest way that I always find to create a title is to go to this new item icon and create a new title. But just to show you, you can also go to the file menu, new, and create a new title that way. Um, you can also go to the title menu, new title, and create a crawling title. But I just want to show you um, exactly how to turn that on. So I'm going to go back to my favorite. And, and another reason why I do it down here is if you have the wrong panel selected, sometimes you can't create something new. Sometimes things are grayed out. So I like to do it down in here, click new title. So this is a, a broadcast file that's 1280 by, uh, sorry, yeah, 1280 by 1080 um, with a DVC Pro HD pixel aspect ratio. And I'm going to leave it at 1280 for the uh, width of my frame, but I'm going to make this only 100 pixels high. And I'll call this the ticker and click OK. It opens up the title designer and you can see this transparent area. And you might have this turned on and this would show you the video. It doesn't make a lot of sense uh, in this respect because we are just making that, that simple ticker. And that's the size we're working at. And that's also the size of the frame. So I'm going to click on my type tool, click down in this area, and I already have something in my clipboard that I'll paste in. There's a, a great little um, alignment tool over here. So with that selected, if I just click, there we go. It aligns it into the center. So it's sitting there now by default. So if you haven't worked with, with, um, the title designer, this is not a modal dialog box. If I've got a second display over here, I can continue to work with this. So if I grab the ticker, there it is. It's actually selected in my project bin and drop it in. This is the default that shows up. It's, it's sitting in the middle of my screen. And I can keep coming back to here and tweak these settings and leave this open. I don't have a lot of screen real estate, so I'll turn that off. So two ways to move that ticker down to the bottom where it should be. First of all, you can double click right in here and select it and move it. Um, you can also go, you can also select the uh, title and in the motion settings, um, if you click on that button there, it'll do the same thing. It'll highlight it. If you want to be more accurate, then you can just click and drag downwards. Now, I'm not worried about the fact that on the right-hand side, it's spilling out of the screen. We're going to crawl this uh, onto the screen from the right to the left. How do we do that? Double click or have this title already open. And in the top left, there's our roll crawl options and we'll crawl this uh, to the left. And we can also have this start off screen and end off screen. I'm gonna put this to end off screen. And again, I wouldn't normally have to close that, but uh, you can see what, what uh, happens. So with this default setting, it's going to start already on the screen and it's going to move off the screen at the end of that. So 
if you drag this, so I'm just using the regular move tool and it's I'm trimming this a little longer, it's gonna change the duration. Now you can see it's a little bit slower. Of course, it starts already on the screen. We want this to start off the screen. So back to my designer and start off screen. Click OK. And now when we play this, let's zoom in. We can see there's the ticker coming in from right to left. It starts off the screen and finishes um, off the screen also. And if we had more text in there, it would just continue to stream that text. All right, so I wanted to mention these backgrounds that I've got down here. And you can see this, this green is a nested clip. If I double click on it, it opens up the new, uh, it opens up the sequence. And this is just a sequence with a bunch of textures in it. And just like any Adobe application, there's little eyeballs on the left hand side. So if I, this is the little top ridge that I've got in there. Uh, if I turn that one off and go back, then I have a new background. If I go back and turn that one off, then I've got a new background. So just some interesting ways to uh, go through a bunch of lower third ideas and highlight our ticker that's moving along there and have it uh, organized and designed perfectly the way we want it. All right, so creating titles, creating tickers, crawling titles and, and cool backgrounds, pretty darn easy, especially when you've got some great textures and, and tools from the folks at Rampant Design Tools. There's a link down there uh, for you to go and check that out. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to video revealed. And if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's also another link in the description for you to get your free 30 day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.